How to update your Kia's navigation software for free and at home. It is important to note that this update applies only to vehicles with built-in navigation. The screen size will vary depending on the model and the age of the vehicle. You will need a 32 gigabyte SD card or a USB drive with either 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes depending on the model and file size. SD cards need to be formatted to FAT32 and USB drives to EXFAT. The navigation downloader tool will inform you to which one your vehicle uses and the size required. You can reuse the SD card from your vehicle if it came with a 32 gigabyte SD card. You will need to supply your own USB drive. If you have a vehicle without built-in navigation, the overall process will be similar, but the downloadable update file will be different. You can follow the process from the card up in the corner for your vehicle. After you have distinguished which infotainment system your vehicle has, I would recommend first checking whether an update is available. You can check the software version by going to Setup, General, and under Software Version, the current software version will be displayed. If the version differs from the one located on the Navigation Updater tool, then you should proceed with the update. To find the correct navigation update file for your vehicle, go to the website located on the screen or in the description below. Once on this website, click on the Navigation Updater Download, then download the correct software for your PC or Mac. Once you have done this, you can open up the software tool and log into your current account or use a guest login. Then you'll want to find the vehicle you own by model and model year. The updates are going to be different depending on the model, so be sure to download the correct one. Insert the SD card or USB drive into your computer and follow the directions for downloading the file. You'll need to download the file directly to your computer before transferring it to your SD card or USB drive. Once you have followed the directions from the software tool to download and transfer the file, you can eject the media and head to the vehicle. Once inside the vehicle, turn the vehicle on and plug the SD card into its dedicated slot or the USB drive into the media port around the center console. I would recommend turning off Bluetooth from your phone before updating. The vehicle should recognize the update automatically, but if not, go to Setup, General, and press the Update button at the bottom. The update should take about 30 minutes and the screen may turn on and off during the update. If the vehicle asks to restart the head unit at any point, simply press the volume knob once and it should continue with the update. The vehicle I'm updating in this video has a Gen 5 W head unit and has not been updated before, so certain features may change with each update. The software updater tool will inform you of what generation head unit your vehicle has. Once completed, you can check the version to see if it matches the version from the website to verify that the update was successful. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and have successfully updated your Kia's navigation software. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and checking out some of the other content on the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, leave that all in the comment section below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.